In this video we are going to see 11 less known stunning places in India. Lungle, Mizoram. The literal meaning of this place is the Bridge of Rock, which is admired for its scenic beauty and natural landscapes. There are activities to do, like trekking, bird watching and adventure sports, which are usually enjoyed by the tourists. Lungle is located at an average altitude. It experiences very calming and soothing weather throughout the year. Lungle, second largest city in the beautiful state of Mizoram. The name of this place is derived from the bridge like rock, which is located here. Attractions in Lungle, Kaolung Lung Wildlife Sanctuary. Best time to visit October to June. Sandakpu, Darjeeling. Highest peak in the state of West Bengal, India. The peak is located at the edge of the Singalila National Park and has a small village. Sandagpu means height of the poison plants. It's named because of the poisonous wolfsbane plant which grows naturally near the peak. It is one of the most dangerous offbeat places in India, is the highest peak in Darjeeling. Attractions to visit in Sandagpu, Fillet, Tumling, Meghna. Best time to visit. April to May and October to December. Damro, Arunachal Pradesh. The village with the longest hanging bridge in Arunachal Pradesh. Damro is one of the best places to start your journey in this beautiful state. It is one of the largest among 21 villages of the Mariang block in this district. Made of ropes and bamboos, the longest hanging bridge in Arunachal Pradesh here sways gently over the river. Visitors it is an experience to cross this and look down the river to see a stunning display of colorful fishes hopping up and down in the river. The months of October to April are the best time to visit Damro. Attractions to visit in Damro, Damro Labok Lt Garden. Zero, Arunachal Pradesh. Zero is a quaint old town in Arunachal Pradesh, home to the Apatani tribe. Zero is around 115 kilometers from the state capital Idanaka. Zero is the peace seekers paradise, famous for its pine hills and rice fields. This is a beautiful and laid back place in the northeast side of India. The weather here is very welcoming and remains pleasant throughout the year. Attractions in Zero, Tali Valley Wildlife Sanctuary, Dolo Mando, Taran Fish Farm. Hemis, Lee. 40 kilometers southeast of Lee Town. This is a beautiful village surrounded by the surreal landscapes which are worth exploring. This place is also home for a wide array of langurs, wolves, red foxes, deers, and marmots. Hemis is well known for the Hemis Monastery that was established in 1672 AD by King Senjnam Pajayalva. This one can also get a glimpse of the snow leopard only at Hemis National Park. The village hosts a colorful festival held in July Attractions in Hemis, Stakna Gumpa, Shang Gumpa, Gotsang Gumpa. Best time to visit, April to June. Gurez Valley, Kashmir. Valley located in the high Himalayas. About 86 kilometers from Bandipur. 123 kilometers from Srinagar in northern Kashmir and southern Gilgit Baltistan. About 2,400 meters above sea level. The valley is surrounded by snow-capped mountains, surreal landscapes, cool air, breathtaking backdrops, and the sound of gushing river are best in Gurez Valley. It is diverse fauna and wildlife including the Himalayan brown bear and the snow leopard. Best time to visit. September are the months when the weather and air are most pleasant. Attractions in Gurez Valley Wula Lake, Razdang Pass, Pir Baba Shrine. Bundi, Rajasthan. Bundi, in eastern Rajasthan, rates highly in terms of attractions. Bundi is best known for its old appeal. The city is famous for the Tarag Fort. Bundi makes for a lovely holiday in Rajasthan, different from Ajmer, Jaipur and Jaisalmer. Bundi was known as Bandakar Nal, Nal meaning narrow passage between the rugged hills. Bundi tour around these festival celebrations to witness the city at its best. Right from miniature paintings to 46 meters long steep walls, this city fascinates every tourist. 
October to March have good weather for a trip to Bundi, Morsan Ram, Meghalaya, 65 kilometers from Shillong. Morsan Ram is one of the most mesmerizing villages located amidst the beautiful surroundings of nature. Famous for being the wettest place in the world, Morsin Ram receives the highest rainfall in India. With the drizzling rain and the lush green landscapes, this place is an ideal location for enjoying an escape from daily life. This village is also famous for the gigantic formations of the stalagmite which resembles the shape of shivling. Attractions in Morsin Ram, Morsmai Falls, Nokalakai Falls, Cherapunji, Morlingna, Morsmai Caves, Binsar and Almora, Uttarakhand. Located at a distance of 33 kilometers from Elmora, Binsar is a small town in Uttarakhand, known for the surreal beauty of the snow-laden Himalayan peaks. Forests covered with oak, pine, rhododendrons and deodar trees. Binsar is home to beautiful green meadows, temples and the famous Binsar Wildlife Sanctuary. Trek as paradise. Binsar has a zero point that provides the 360-degree view of the Himalayan ranges. It requires a short trek of two kilometers to reach the zero point, which includes Nanda Devi, Kedarnath, Shivling, and Trishul. Best time to visit Binsar would be from October to March. Majuli, Assam. Majuli is a beautiful and lush green island which is located over the Brahmaputra River. At a distance of 20 kilometers from Yorhat city, it became the first island to be made a district in India. Majuli is considered to be one of the world's largest river islands. The culture of Majuli is unique and quite interesting. It is also called the cultural capital of Assam. The festivals celebrated here are all joyous and vibrant. Attractions in Moduli, Kamalabari Satra, Dukanpat Satra, Anyati Satra, Gama, Shetahali, Karnataka. There is one such absolutely interesting and abandoned church, called the Rosary Church in a village. Popular as the submerged church and the floating church. This church remains submerged in water during monsoons makes it so special. Surrounding the church is absolutely peaceful and naturally blessed. Bridge across the dam from where visitors can take some stunning views of the church. The best time to visit this old church is from July to October, when half of the church remains under the water or visit it any time between December and May. During this time water level goes down and one can witness the beauty of the church in all its glory. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and to like video. Click bell icon to get notifications whenever our video gets uploaded.